Hello everyone and welcome to the channel of Venus Flytrap World. This channel is all about carnivorous plants. The main focus is to provide accurate and complete information about the scientific facts and cares of these amazing plants. In today's video, I would like to share with you an answer to a very common question I see online. Why is a Venus flytrap looking droopy or looking down? Basically, there's two main answers. There's two main causes why a Venus flytrap might be looking droopy. First, it can be nature. And second, it could be the environment. So let's go ahead and elaborate on the first one, nature. Not all Venus flytraps are meant to stand upright. Yes, sometimes we see a lot of pictures and all the Venus flytraps are always standing up, but reality is that there are many different types of cultivars and types of Venus flytrap. Some of them are meant to stand upright, but some of them actually like growing close to the ground. I have a couple of medium-sized Venus flytraps that have long leaves, big traps, but they never stand upright. They always like to hug the ground. And some people call these type of plants ground huggers. And there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that, that it's their nature. So if you're observing a Venus flytrap that looks a little bit droopy, it might just be that type of plant that likes to stay close to the ground. The second reason why a Venus flytrap might be looking down or droopy is because it is exposed to the improper environment. There are two main factors that can make it look down. First is lighting, and second is water. Venus flytrap need, need a lot of light. Preferably, they should be grown outside where they have plenty of access to sunlight. And if they are grown indoors, they should get enough uh, plant, plant lighting to be able to, to grow strong. If the plant is not receiving enough lighting, then it will start looking down, it will start looking unhealthy. Actually, some of the colors might start fading. So instead of having that bright burgundy, that bright green, it might start looking more yellowy. And even the, the red color might start fading from inside the traps because it's not getting all that light. Ultimately, if the plant doesn't get any light at all and is considered to be light starved, it might even stop developing traps. So instead of developing that big trap to capture insects, it might develop a tiny trap or not develop a trap at all. In this case, the solution is very simple. If your plant is not receiving enough light, just place it under sunlight, make sure it receives at least four to six hours of direct sunlight during the spring and during the summer. That is a big requirement for the plant and you will start to notice the differences. The second factor that can make the plant look droopy is water. Venus flytraps like to be always in a humid or moist media. They do not like dry, dry uh, ground. So when you have a Venus flytrap, you are always watering it constantly. So the soil is always moist. If the plant has been in a dry environment for a very long time, then it will start looking down. For example, I have this plant right here. I bought it a couple of weeks ago. I actually found it in Walmart. And even though sometimes when you buy this type of plants in Home Depot, Walmart, or any of these big stores, they tend to be a little bit uh, sick or, or dying, this one actually was very healthy. So I decided to buy it. But it looked a little bit droopy. However, I wasn't too worried because the colors were good and the size of the traps were also uh, appropriate. So the first thing I did is I took it out from this container. They actually come in these closed containers that are meant to keep humidity. But Venus flytraps are good at adapting uh, to less humid, humid environments. So the first thing I did, I took it out and I kind of inspected the plant and the first thing I noticed is that the soil was completely dry. And also, when I was at the store buying it, the plant was stored at a shelf without any type of proper lighting. So I knew it hadn't received proper lighting for probably a few weeks. So uh, when I brought it home, I made sure to water it, and now it is under the appropriate lighting. 
and as the days have gone by, I have started to notice that some of the traps that were looking droopy are starting to stand a little bit upright and look a lot stronger than before. So it's just a little bit of patience and providing the appropriate conditions. But obviously lighting and water are not the only care considerations that you need for your plant. These are only the main factors that could make it look droopy. Besides that, you always want to ensure that your plant is healthy. And for that, I have actually a great material for you. I have made a free Venus flytrap care sheet that includes every single detail that you need to know about caring for your Venus flytrap. You can download it from my website at venusflytrapworld.com slash care. It is free of charge, just click on the link and download the PDF. It will serve you as you continue this hobby of growing Venus flytraps or other carnivorous plants. Thank you for much, so much for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you would like to learn more about carnivorous plants. Thank you.